afternoon guys today i am not feeling very well and it's rainy and miserable outside so i thought while i was drawing along to some lo-fi girl on youtube that i wanted to give it a go making my own slightly animated desktop picture to look at uh, to create some ambience for drawing to so that's what this video is about. I started off with a little sketch based on a photo that I found on Pinterest that I'll um, share with you shortly in this video but I always find sketching stuff out it's a lot easier the traditional way than um, doing it straight away on my tablet I find that that can really stunt I don't know my creative flow in the sketching stage I'm not really sure what it is but there's something about drawing with pencil um, that just gets things flowing for me and makes the process in the early stage a lot more enjoyable. I obviously like to go and get into my digital painting when it's time to colour as I'm still not super, you know, great at picking the best colour straight off the bat so I love the option of being able to try different colours and undo things and adjust things and you just can't really do that easily when you're doing it traditionally. But the sketching side of things, I I don't know, I think it's just because I've always drawn with pencil, so this is my more natural state to experiment and uh, draw in. Those of you who have watched my sketchbook tours and some of my other art videos will know that I really am drawn towards stuff that's a bit more moody and maybe a bit more melancholy. It just, I don't know, it's very um, cozy to me and it also, it really brings my imagination out in a weird way which is um, kind of odd when I think about it because it's usually when you see artists talk about things that get them creative it's a lot more happy subjects that's what I've noticed anyway um, but this piece I was on um, Pinterest and I was looking at different sceneries and there was one that was taken in Norway and I'm a sucker for a Scandinavian landscape and not that this has very much landscape in it but it just spoke to me so that's what we're going with and it's just a girl drawing or writing whatever you want her to be doing in a little cabin with a big old view out to a mountain or an island and the lights going down <coughs> and she's got her fireplace on and to me that's just so cozy especially while I'm feeling quite um, unwell at the moment I am really enjoying the escapism of drawing this picture I ended up redoing her face in the sketch before I poured it into the tablet because I just didn't feel like this face suited the vibe at all. So if you're confused why that changes, it's because even at the time I wasn't particularly happy with it but I just knew, I knew it was the sketch face so I just couldn't be bothered changing it while I was um, still filming but that gets changed later on. And here's the picture that I was taking inspiration from and I kind of like the slight tweaks that I made and also the picture wasn't landscape it was kind of square or portrait shaped so I got to kind of create what the rest of the room would look like from my imagination which was fun I thought I was going to put her shoes off to the side here with her scarf uh, but in the end in the end I didn't do that for the colouring phase 
which we are up to now. Um, there's definitely a lot of redoing in the way that my art process goes. Like, I'll sketch it out first and then I kind of sketch it out again in a way to turn it into digital line art. And then um, I'll add the colours and, and then go from there. So it definitely feels like quite a long process with how many stages it is. I would love to be more um, freestyle with it sometimes and just be able to sketch straight as like the final line work and also colour in without needing line work would be a really cool style to try out. Uh, but as this was done when I was feeling quite low energy, I wasn't really looking to push myself, I just wanted to sit back and doodle away and I ended up doing this all in one night from start to finish which is kind of surprising as I usually take multiple days to actually finish something, especially coloured digital uh, artwork, um, let alone adding animated elements to it. So. Yeah, I was just really in the zone with this one, and I really liked how it came out. I think that um, the line work and the character and all the bits and bobs around the room, I'm just really happy with it. And even the colour, as you know, it's not a strong point of mine, but I, felt, I didn't want to over-render, so I felt like just doing some, um, I guess giving an impression of the fire and the shadows without going too hardcore with it. I really like how that looked. Final piece is done, so the rest of the video will just be us vibing with my animated girl as she draws or writes.